Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Java. Here we're going to uh, reach the conclusion, uh, this lesson plus the next lesson of the math functions, the basic math functions that are available to you in Java. Here we're going to use the very common functions sine, cosine, and tangent. If you pick up any calculator out there, almost any calculator, you'll see a sine button, a cosine button, and a tangent button. And you can do all those calculations from directly within the Java math class. So here's the documentation that we've been using. These are the methods of the math class. You can see here there's the sine method. It requires a double argument, which just means a decimal point argument. It's going to return a double as a result. Here's the tangent. And uh, if you go up to the C's up here, um, you go down the C's here, you have the cosine. So we have sine, cosine, and tangent. All right, so um, to use them is actually pretty simple, but the thing you need to make sure you understand, when you're using sine, cosine, and tangent in Java, it's always going to assume that the angle you give it is in radians. I'm going to say that again because you're going to get yourself confused eventually. When you're trying to do a program and you want to take the sine of 45 degrees, you're going to get a weird result unless you pass it an angle that's in radians. So let me show you what I'm talking about. System.out.println. We'll just do a couple quick examples here. We'll put a semicolon here, and then now we want to take the, let's say, the sine of, a, of an angle. So we use math.sin, right? That's the uh, method as part of the math class. That's the sine. Now we need to pass it a number. Now, what I'm trying to tell you is if you put 45 in here and you think you're putting 45 degrees in, you're wrong. What you're really doing is you're giving it 45 radians. So whenever I save this and, and hit run, the answer I'm getting is not the sine of 45 degrees. I'm getting sine of 45 radians. And those are two different things because radian measure is different than degree measure. All right. So, for instance, if you wanted to convince yourself that this was working right, if you remember, radians uh, in terms of pi is pi radians over there, 3.14. So if I put roughly pi, it's not the exact right number, but roughly pi radians, and I try to take the sine of that, most of you taking math class will realize that you should get something pretty close to zero, and it's not exactly zero because I didn't give the exact value of pi. But I can change that by giving the exact value of pi, just as we've been talking about. And whenever I pass the exact value of pi, I get an extremely small number, 1.22 blah blah times 10 to the minus 16. That's effectively zero. All right. Now if I go and change this from a sine to a cosine, then I'm going to get a value of negative 1, because the cosine of pi radians is negative 1. It falls in the left-hand quadrant, the left-hand side of the unit circle. All right, so let's jump back to sine here. Uh, what if you were doing sine of pi over 2? Of those of you who have taken some math know that pi over 2 is up here in the top part of the quadrant, so you should get a value of 1 for that, and that's exactly what you get. So the bottom line is using sine, cosine, and tangent uh, in terms of uh, radian measure, in terms of how we use it in Java, the only gotcha you have to remember is that you have to pass it in, uh, the number in terms of radians. So if I can do pi over 4, for instance, that's radians. This is the answer you would see on a calculator screen. I can change the sine to tangent and take the tangent of that angle and, uh, and get the answer there. Of course, that's pretty darn close to 1 because the tangent of pi over 4 should be uh, equal exactly to 1. So sometimes if you get lots of repeating decimals, it's doing a calculation of something that in the real world, this calculation tangent of pi over 4 should exactly be 1. But since we're doing it in a computer and you've got truncation of decimal points, sometimes you'll get uh, lots of 9s or sometimes you'll get lots of leading zeros uh, for some of those guys. All right, now I've tried to drill in over and over again when you're taking the sine, cosine, or the tangent of uh, any angle in terms of the Java um, class methods there, you need to assume and you need to pass it radian measure in there. However, there's some, something you can do here. So what if I wanted to take the cosine of 45 degrees? Well, we already said that you can't do it like this because if you do it like this, this is not the cosine of 45 degrees. This is the cosine of 45 radians. However, there's a little thing I can do. Remember those other um, methods that we were dealing with? I can convert this to radians. And all I have to do is wrap the 45 degrees that I have here uh, inside of this method. So look and see how this is kind of used together. This method, two radians, takes 
with this set of parentheses here, basically it takes the 45 degrees here, it converts to radians, and that is what is sitting here in the blue highlight after that calculation is done. So whatever radian value you get there, that gets passed and the cosine gets taken. So if you save this and you hit run, 0.707 is what you would expect to take for the cosine of 45 degrees. And of course, for those of you taking math class, you also know that the sine of 45 degrees is the exact same number, and that's what we get here. So when you're doing sine cosine tangent, always pass it radian value, but if you really have to pass it degrees, then just use this nice little handy uh, guy here. And now I can type in any radian measure I, or any degree measure I want. It'll convert it to radians prior to taking the sine. And so I can type, you know, anything I want. Remember 180 degrees? What do you think? the sine of 180 degrees should be. Well, it's very close to zero. Notice we have 1.22 times 10 to the minus 16. That means 16 zeros prior to this one. Uh, you move the decimal point to the left 16 times. That's very close to zero. And that's because we're doing calculations on a computer. It's giving you a uh, calculated result. The actual result would be exactly equal to zero. But you can drop any other values here, including negative values for degrees because it can convert those to radians as well and sometimes you'll just get a negative answer. So sine cosine tangent is very easy to deal with in Java. It's just sometimes if you really want to deal with uh, degree values just make sure and convert it to radians first.